Hello guys, once again my name is Adley Modestin. Today I'm going to show you how to insert data into the database using ASP.NET. Well, uh, let me put up my ASP.NET application. And here, remember, on my other video I show you how to actually filter the grid view using ASP.NET or C Sharp code. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to add data into the database. You see, I'm using the same little file data, uh, database table. And uh, I'm going to insert data to the grid view, I mean, to the from the text box of the application into the database. Alright, it's time. Let me create a new. I'm going to create a new. Bear with me. It's kind of um, yucky. All right, um, I'm gonna create a new page to do that. All right. All right. Let me call it. Insert data. I call it insert data. I'm also using C sharp. Okay. Give it a title. Insert data. Let's design it now. I go to the toolbox. I'm going to bring a few text box. Let me see. I need one, two, three text box. Uh, to do that, I'm going to add a table. Three, three. Uh, actually, I will need a button. Okay. I am inserting some um, label. Those label will be carrying the name for what's what's supposed to be inserted into the text box. Not this one. I don't need this one. Uh, but in here, I need the text box. Another one, and another one. And down here, I'll have a button. Okay. All right. Let's name those label according to what's going on. I need a name, a description, and a town, hometown. And the first one need to be name. Okay click back at and click on that okay gotta call this oh, I don't even have to name them I just give them some specific name Call that name. Call that description. And uh, hometown. All right, text box. Me give this the name of txt name this one will be txt desk for description and this one will be um 
txt hum design my button btn let's say submit or save let me call it save let's call that save alright Alright, these labels um uh LBL and for name clear this I'll be a desk I'll be a H for home alright I don't need this one these labels will be displayed whenever someone you know whenever this text box will make clear if someone don't put something in the text box for example if the text box uh, doesn't have a value it will be an error telling you to put the value in there so most likely I would switch these to red red right here I needed the label okay then this one gonna be LBL um, display that just going to tell you tell that the data went in successfully and this one has to be green gonna make that like green all right so now I have to set it there all right um, now let's do some coding okay uh, since I already have a connection on my other page let me go steal that connection from here so I don't have to retype the whole thing uh, go here and I'll put my connection here but I have to set up my using system that data that SQL client see do I have a configuration yes I did alright so now let's do some coding uh, to actually put the data into the database I have to set up a connection I mean a uh, SQL command which is going to be SQL uh, command uh, let me call that come equal new SQL command and open my parenthesis I'm going to put an at because of the fact that I'm going to um, f switch those I mean switch the query to a different line okay let me put this insert
and t was the table name. Let me go back. Also then set into t filter tb. Open and close parentheses. Okay, these two I have to put them. Christian. hometown then what I'm gonna put in to this I have to pass some string basically let me just copy this I don't need to retype them at description at hometown then a comma I need to set up my connection which is C and close my parentheses and close that all right <coughs> now I need to tell um, the command what where my data where the data is coming from so this data will be coming from the text box therefore I have to set up um, set up a connection between the text box and that um, and that string Okay, CM parameter dot add with value. Then inside the value, I have to pass whatever I have here. Copy and paste that. And I have to pass my text box that going to put the data there. And the text box is txt nem. Okay, and I close that a semicolon. I have one thing to do. I have to put this into double quote. Okay, so uh, since I have two more, let me just copy that. All right, I'll take description. And the text box, basically, I think it's called disk. And I will do the same for the other one. Copy this and paste it here. And that text box called txdh, I believe. All right. So now I set up my parameter. This parameter will be um, assigned to this parameter there that will bring the data into the query to run in, in, into the database. All right, so once that's done, I need to set the CM to that execute non query. Execute non query, add open parentheses and close parentheses. I have to close my connection, close to C small c that close I didn't open my connection I also have to open it see that oh, you see that open so now what happened here is that I open my connection and I set up my query that will be running into the database. This app I put here is just for the purpose of if I want to put this line into a second line, for example, let me do it. Like insert into the table, and I want to put that in this other line, like this, so that will not uh, do an error or just keep this the way it is
okay that way I can see what I'm doing okay so that that's the reason I put this ad without that ad this will give me an error but with the ad you know I will not get this error okay all right so that's f let me see all right so I need to set up my um, my error message now when the button is click if there's no data in none of these text box these fields should should flash up and give you an error tell you to put data in there so now let me do this uh, one call LBL and LBL desk uh, LBL H I, I'll put them right there at the top level if txt name dot text equal equal blank then I want to do something lbl name or lbl n dot text equal I want to say something name cannot stay blank all right um, gonna do the same for the other one TS txt then desk from next that text equal equal blank if it's empty then I want to raise the message LBL um, what did I call it desk equal I wanna say description cannot stay blank if txt home that text equal equal blank okay lbl h that text equal then it will equal oops cannot stay blank okay that's for the error message this will send an error message there's another way you can accomplish the same thing you know you can use um, if I go back here oops take a little time oh I would have to go here oops on the design view the other way you can accomplish the same thing is to actually use uh, this error message from Microsoft let me see navigation a validation right here if you use this validation okay one of these validation I think is the required field this one if you use this one it will achieve the same thing you know it will achieve exactly the same thing for you okay but I like you know coding them myself so all right then then else that will perform this action right here try try this then close here then I put a catch in case the the application fell or in case there's an error for any reason okay this cache right there um, let me put a different okay before that let's see LBL D 
display that text equal then now once the button is clicked and the data is inserted into the database what's going to happen is this label will display a message saying your data is inserted successfully okay okay Yeah, that should be done new record inserted successfully that's all I want to show once you press the button and all the data inserted it will give you this uh, this um, this message but if not then it it is going to raise an error let me call LBL uh, call error I have to create that that text equal error all right so I have to go create um, this on a new label to handle that error message all right right here So this uh, this label will display the error message if the data didn't go to the database, or for any reason if there's an error, it's going to raise up and tell you there was an error. Okay. So now let's test the the program to see if it works. Okay, it says some building error. I need to see the error. CM that parameter add with value hometown double quote comma it from okay I see all right um right here instead of and execute I should say cm that execute non query and that was the reason for the error so let's try it again to see hmm there's more error okay txth what's up with you cmd that parameter that add with value double quote at hometown close double quote comma txt h dot text txt alright um, I guess I hometown uh, call txt home basically txt home okay that's why that was supposed to be called test it once again let's see there you go let's see if that was done let's say without putting anything there let's say if I push this button let's see what happened look at that now it said this text box cannot stay blank so you have to put something in there that is the main reason I code them just not to let anything go to the database and to display this error message but now let's say I put um, uh, junior 
and let's say hacker the hacker and hometown let's say NJ let's see what happened ooh it works look what happened but there's one one problem so that means if someone left anything blank when they fix it and push the button the error message remain I need to make sure these these disappear once you click this button okay so let's do that one easy way to do that say so TX are they are label LBL LBL name that text equal blank I'll blank them down LBL that text equal blank LBL I have description I need from that text equal blank that should blank them and if not I have to use that to s okay that's the three let's try it again to see I have to let me put them all the way at the bottom right here let's just ensure alright now let's refresh it okay say I push this button now they come up and let's say test test you know another test and when I push this they should clear it okay so that was done successfully and I'll say thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next video.